Whoever receives this child in my name receives me, and again, whoever is not against you is for you. Praise be Jesus and Mary. Recent popes have called for a new evangelization. And this new evangelization, they tell us, is one to consist in preaching the gospel to those who have not yet heard the gospel, which has been what Christians have done from the earliest days of the church. And there are many more than we might suspect in our own day that have not yet heard the gospel. But the recent popes have also reminded us that there has to be a re-evangelization because as we are only too well aware, in those areas which have been traditionally Christian, there has been a great falling away from the faith. Many people in traditionally Christian areas do not practice their faith regularly and do not know their faith in a way that the majority of Christians in these areas knew their faith in times past. And so it requires a significant work of catechesis, but it also knows, it, excuse me, it also entails knowing how to reach these people, many or even most of whom have goodwill, but simply have had no one to help them to learn things in the way that in times past people have had the resources to learn things. And we have to, normally speaking, presume that these people have goodwill so that we do not put out the smoldering wick, as it were. For we have to understand, yes, we have, we have to present the truth in its fullness. No one ever has said otherwise. But we have to know exactly how to present the truth. And particularly, we have to know how to present the truth with mercy. Because that is really what God has done for each one of us. He has enabled us to grasp, to understand, to grow in the truth, precisely because he has showed his mercy upon us. That's what the current Holy Father is emphasizing at the present moment. The need to, yes, present the truth, but be sure to present the merciful face of this truth. And indeed, really these two can not be separated, truth and mercy. So while it may be that certain of our fellow Catholics advocate things that may be scandalous or advocate things that would seem to draw others away from the faith and we need to bear witness to this. By, by and large, it's simply a question of helping Catholics to open their hearts. Our fellow Catholics need help in opening their hearts to God. And we will find that they want this. They want this. But we have to know how to approach it so that they don't instinctively turn away, you see. And God knows how to do this. God knows how to approach us so that we don't simply instinctively turn away because the gospel saying seems too hard. He knows how to approach. Even if, perhaps, people will still turn away. That's exactly what happened, for example, when Jesus gave his Eucharistic discourse. He told the truth as it was, and still many turned away. But for those who opened their hearts, 
they could respond just like the Apostle Peter did. Lord, to whom shall we turn? And see, if we know how to approach our fellow Catholics in, the, in that way, then that's the sort of response we can elicit from them. Lord, to whom shall we turn? We know that you have the words of eternal life. I'm not necessarily where I need to be, but I know that you can take me there. And that's what we are trying to help our fellow Christians to do, is to take them as they are, where they are, and to help them to see where they need to be. Because they have to walk that walk. We can't force them. God never forces anybody. But he entices them. And we have to learn how to help people be drawn by the enticement that only God can entice with. We lead them to him. We never try to put out the smoldering wick. So let us ask the Mother of Mercy, she who is the merciful face of God, the Immaculate One, that she will show us that way. That's the way that she was and is. She is so quiet, so hidden, speaks to us in the depths of our hearts in such wise that it's impossible to turn away from her if we just listen to her. So let us ask Our Lady to be her voice, to use her words, because anyone with goodwill, how can they possibly turn away from her? And that's what we want to be, and that's what we want to ask her to help us to be. So that anyone who has in any part of their heart that little heart of a child and somewhere in their heart, if they are not opposed to the Lord, that they will be drawn by our Lord and share in the happiness prepared by our Lord for those who love him.